The National Development Planning Commission has called for stronger collaboration and coordination among transport sector ministries to enable the government to achieve its target of making Ghana the transport hub of Africa. The NDPC believes a vibrant transport sector in Ghana will contribute immensely to the attainment of sustainable development goals and also improve livelihoods through enhanced socio-economic development. Director General of the NDPC made the remarks at the 2021 Transport Sector Review Conference in the Ashanti Regional Capital, Kumasi. City News' Ashanti Regional Correspondent Hafiz Tijani reports. Director General of the National Development Planning Commission, Dr. Kojo Mensa Abrampa, although admits the challenges facing Ghana's transport sector, says a robust transport system will contribute to the socioeconomic development and also enhance other sectors that largely depends on transportation. He maintains that this can only be achieved if the transport sector ministries work together and coordinate efforts. The National Development Planning Commission recognizes this. We now have a whole division that is devoted for coordination purposes, for coordinating the respective ministries. And, and we thank Public Service Commission for seeing eye to eye with us. And, and we put the best of our skills there so that they can support you in managing this process. Very, very important. We're doing that and hope that this will not only facilitate integration among the three ministries, but even with the development partners, with the private sector, who are also key in, 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 in pursuing our agenda and also other ministries that are important for this. Minister of Energy and others, which are key for our trade and others who are here. Science and technology, they are all here. The Transport Review Sector Conference brought together ministries of transport, roads and highways and the railways to share perspectives, knowledge, iron out challenges and opportunities as well as debate priorities and align them to meet Ghana's developmental agenda. Sector ministers spoke about what is being done to improve and develop their respective ministries. It is on record that the railway infrastructure system built over some 50 years ago have been left in a stage of dilapidation for several years without any single maintenance. The capital injection that have been brought into the sector within these four years put together far outweigh any investment within the sector in decades. Permit me to touch on a few key milestones achieved by the Minister of Transport of detail will be shared during the presentation by Arun. As part of government effort to ensure that government becomes Ghana sorry, becomes a transportation hub in West Africa, the seaports are currently undergoing massive infrastructure expansion and service improvement. At Tema Port, the four bed dedicated container terminal, which commenced in 2017, have been fully completed. And operational. Similarly, at Takwadi Port, to meet the demands of oil and gas sector, an oil service terminal has been completed and operational. Over the past ye five years, the Minister of Roads and Highways, which I have had the privilege of leading, has made significant and unprecedented strides in the provision of road infrastructure across the length and breadth of the country. It is worth noting that. These projects and programs have not been planned and execu executed in isolation, but as carefully integrated components of our overall transport system. The development partners also pledged their support to the ministries to help them achieve the agenda of enhancing Ghana's transport sector. The, the development partners' uh, uh, commitments to supporting Ghana's development agenda and various innovative uh, interventions supported uh, by development partners are making a significant change in the sector as um, uh, we have heard uh, from the honorable ministers earlier the review conference was on the theme consolidating the gains of the transport sector through effective integration